Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Blanca. I recently decided to purchase a bunch of drugstore makeup. One, I haven't done that in a while. And two, I thought, you know what? I am going to check out the drugstore because I've been so focused on Sephora and high-end makeup that I've just completely forgot about drugstore makeup. And I love my drugstore makeup. And I did watch a bunch of videos before making this purchase because I wanted to see what everyone's loving, what my favorite YouTubers are raving about. So I watched a bunch of those before I made this purchase. A lot of the stuff that I got, I've never tried before. So stay tuned for an upcoming video where I'm actually going to be like testing out these products and doing like a full face of drugstore makeup. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are excited for this video. If you are, don't forget to thumbs it up before you leave and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, let's jump into the makeup haul. So that this video is like somewhat organized and not all over the place, I'm just going to pick items that are from like the same brand, you know? So yeah, just so it's not like all over the place. So I'm first going to start off with e.l.f. Oh, I only got one thing from e.l.f. <laughs> okay, so I have been trying and searching and looking for the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I finally found it. If you live in Canada and you can't find it, check out Shoppers Drug Mart, they have it there. So I decided to just get the original, which is the Poreless Putty Primer. Everybody is raving about this primer, saying that it's amazing, that it gives you such a beautiful finish, how it moisturizes your skin, how it grips your makeup, making it last all day long. It just glides over the skin nicely and it just smooths over any imperfections and just gives you that nice poreless skin. So who doesn't want that? I do. And I'll just open it up for you guys. I haven't even tried it out or anything because I'm saving it for you guys. Look how beautiful that looks. I don't even want to dip my finger in there, but I'm excited to try this out. A lot of people are saying that this is comparable to the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. That one is very pricey. I think it's like 50 to $60, I forget. Although they did come out with a mini, which is I think $25, but if this works just as good, I will be a happy girl. From Maybelline, I purchased the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I got mine in the shade 20, which is light medium. I have used this before. This is a mineral-based formula. It helps control shine and smooth skin's texture. It's a lightweight translucent coverage. It's fresh and natural. It can be used alone or over foundation. So like I said, I have used this before, but I did run out. So I decided to just pick another one up because I do know that this is really good. So if you haven't tried this, I definitely recommend that you do. It's affordable and it just leaves a really nice smooth finish. From Milani, I picked up the Make It Last Setting Spray. It's supposed to be a 16 hour wear. It's a three in one, it primes, corrects, and sets. It's lightweight and it locks in your makeup for 16 hours. It keeps the color from fading and settling into creases. Again, I've heard nothing but great things about this setting spray. I've never actually tried it before. I know they have a dewy one and then a matte one. I think this is just like the original one. I'm not 100% sure. I do love Milani. They have amazing makeup. I do find them to be a little bit pricey for drugstore. I don't know, sometimes I feel like their prices are pretty high and I don't know, I mean it's a drugstore brand so I just feel like sometimes their items are a little bit overpriced but their packaging is absolutely beautiful and their makeup works beautifully as well so I, I don't know, like I guess it's okay, but some products, like their eyeshadow palettes are $25. And I feel like that's very expensive for a drugstore. I don't know. Maybe it's just me that thinks that, but I do think they are a little bit overpriced. Anyways, I can't wait to try out this setting spray and see if it does make my makeup last all day long. From L'Oreal, I picked up the Infallible Pro Glow and I got mine in the shade 205 Natural Beige. It's supposed to give you a radiant finish. It's for normal dry skin and it's supposed to be a hydrating foundation. I've never, 
I've never tried this before. I've heard a lot of people say that they love this, that it's amazing, that it gives you such a beautiful glow. I usually like a full coverage foundation. I like the matte look. But lately I have been loving the soft glow illuminating kind of finish on my face. So I'm hoping that this... Oh, I thought I had to sneeze. I'm hoping that this works nice on my skin and I can't wait to try it. So yeah, looking forward to that. I haven't opened it so I don't know if it's going to match me but I think... I think it will we will see so next up is essence essence is one of those makeup brands that i feel like nobody really talks about but they're really good and very affordable so i have never tried their mascaras before but i have heard so many people talking about their mascaras i didn't know which one to pick because they have so many but i saw that the one that everyone is like raving about and had the most reviews was this one this one is the lash princess false lash effect mascara and this is what it looks like and it's supposed to give you a false lash effect and dramatic volume so i can't wait to test this out because my eyelashes are like straight and they like go down and even if i curl them i feel like somehow they only stay curled for like maybe i don't even know like 15 minutes and then they're back to like Meh. so if this mascara can make them curl up and give me lots of volume and give me that falsies effect I'll be very happy. I do use false lashes pretty much every single day, but on the days that I don't, which is rare, um, I'm hoping that this, you know, will do the job. Another thing I picked up from Essence is their Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. It has filling fibers. I have tried this before. I got mine in the shade 02 Brownie Brows. This is a three-in-one color fill and shape. It's colored eyebrow gel with fibers for naturally fuller looking brows. So I like putting this on after I've powdered my face because I like to do my eyebrows first and then I do my eyes and then I do my face and then I powder down my foundation and then the powder will sometimes, you know, fall onto my eyebrows and if I look down or I just turn my head, you can see like the powder in my eyebrows so this little guy if you run it over your brows after you're done powdering it gets rid of that powdery look and it just adds some color and i just i really like this and it lasts a really long time like i've had mine for like over a year and it's pretty much dried out and i just thought okay it's been over a year you should probably throw it out so i decided to just get another one because it is really good so I had no idea that Shoppers Drug Mart carried this brand. I didn't even know it was available in Canada. I've seen like a lot of YouTubers that are from the US or from like overseas talk about this makeup brand and it's Makeup Revolution. I had no idea that you could find it at Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't know if it's something new or if it's just always been available and I just never I'd seen it before but i decided to pick up their concealer because i've never tried it before so i got the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage concealer and i got mine in the shade c5 so hopefully it'll work with my skin tone and i've seen juicy jazz talk about this saying how amazing it is i'm pretty sure it was her yeah yes and i feel like me and her kind of have the same like skin tone and she used this shade c5 so i'm hoping that it'll work for me as well another thing that i got from makeup revolution which i'm very excited about is the roxy roxaurus ride or die palette it has 18 ultra professional pigments this is what the packaging looks like very beautiful this nice marble i like the gold here so cute and then the actual palette just looks like this it's gold very pretty i guess she's a youtuber i don't watch her videos so i actually just youtubed her and yeah she's a youtuber so the this is her palette very beautiful there's a lot of shades to play with 
You even got a couple of fun ones like this one down here and you got some mattes, some shimmers. So I can't wait to play with this. I'm excited to create a look with this palette. Okay, so next up is NYX. I got a lot of stuff from NYX. I didn't realize until I got everything. I was like, ooh, I got a lot of NYX stuff. So first up is the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. This little guy is amazing. I've talked about it many times on my channel. I even featured it in my favorites videos a couple times on my Instagram stories because this is just so good. It gives you a nice matte finish and it keeps your makeup on your face all day long. And it's only $10. I remember I went to a wedding uh, last year. It was my cousin's wedding and it was outside. It was hot. And I remember getting back to the room like hours, hours later. And I looked in the mirror and my makeup looked so good. I didn't even want to take it off because it just, it looked so good. And it was because of this little guy. It just sprays like perfectly. It's really good. And if you are looking for an affordable setting spray, this guy is the way to go. So I saw Casey Holmes, Juicy Jazz, and Kathleen Lights rave about the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And of course, I got it in black. I'm excited to try this out. I usually use the Kat Von D liquid liner, but it's like $26. So if this one does the same thing, I'm definitely going to be purchasing this one from now on. So I can't wait to test that out and see how nice of a you know wing it'll give me. I also picked up the NYX Matte Bronzer and I got the medium shade. I believe there I believe it comes in three shades. So I just decided to go with the medium one. I don't know if I should have gone with the light one because when I opened it up, it did look almost like reddish, sort of. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. So it looks pretty warm. And I don't know, it kind of looks reddish to me, but who knows, it may look beautiful on me. I don't know, we'll have to give it a try. And yeah, it's just a matte bronzer. Again, I've heard that it's very good and I don't know what else to say about it. It's just a bronzer and it's by NYX. It looks a little bit red, but you never know, it might, this looks stunning on me. <laughs> I also wanted to try uh, their eyeshadows. I don't think I've ever tried a NYX eyeshadow palette ever. I don't know, I, I can't remember a time when I did, so I really don't think I have. So I decided to just get the Ultimate Edit palette. Uh, does this have a name? Yes, it's the Warm Neutrals palette. And it comes with six shades. So you got some mattes in there and you got some shimmers. That's what it looks like. Very pretty, just your basic neutrals. I love my neutrals, but it looks really nice. Um, I'm gonna swatch some of them just to see how pigmented they are. I don't go by swatches usually because sometimes can be deceiving, like it'll swatch beautifully and then on your eye it looks like crap. Or sometimes the swatches look like crap but then they're stunning on the eyes. So I'm definitely going to be testing this out because um, like I said, I've never tried their eyeshadows before and so I'm curious to see how good they are. So out of all the videos that I watched, like this product was pretty much included in all of the drugstore makeup hauls that I watched and it's the NYX high glass illuminating powder and I got mine in moon glow so it's a highlighter and wow it looked stunning I swatched it the other day and it feels like butter that's what it looks like it's like a nice gold it's a gold highlighter, but I don't know. It just feels so soft. I can't wait to play with that. Last but not least, the last thing I got is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. You guys are probably going to laugh, but I've never tried their lip creams before. 
I've tried their lip glosses. I've tried their liquid lipsticks. I've tried their, uh, what's it called? I'm wearing it right now. Um, NYX Liquid Suede. This one is in Sandstorm. I have this on right now with a little bit of concealer in the middle. But yeah, I've never tried their lip creams and I feel like that's very strange that I haven't. I feel like everybody has except for me. So I decided to get the shade London and it's just a matte lip cream and it's a nude because you guys know I love my nudes. So I can't wait to play with this. I haven't tried it yet. So yeah. I'm excited to try this out, but it just feels like a nice, moussey, creamy kind of texture. Just looks like that. Whoop, right there. Very like creamy and soft. So I can't wait to pop that on my lips in my next video. All right, you guys, so this concludes my drugstore makeup haul. I'm so happy that I got all this stuff and I can't wait to play around with it. I hope you guys are excited for the next video that's to come. Even though I do love my high-end makeup, honestly, when you start running out of it and you need to restock, like it's expensive. It adds up and you can only get like three, sometimes two items for a hundred dollars and it adds up very quickly. All right, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go edit this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.